Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matthew Friend. I'm a junior here at NYU. I'm from Chicago. I go to the NYU Gallatin School of Individualized Study, and I'm studying political satire, comedy, acting, and the entertainment business. Welcome to NYU. So where are we now? Right now we're in Washington Square Park in downtown Manhattan. It is an incredibly vibrant area, uh, kind of the center of NYU. So what is it like going to school in the biggest city in the U.S.? Well, I think that it's a very sort of adult experience and I think it takes sort of a mature kind of personality to go to school here because you are sort of put into a major city and you have to, you're living in the city, you're living in a dorm in the city or an apartment or whatever. Uh, so it's definitely kind of a real world adult experience. So the campus of NYU, does it really have a campus? Uh, it's interesting to me when people say that NYU has no campus because I very much feel that there's an extreme sense of vibrancy along uh, the area that we're in right now, Washington Square Park. There's Bob's Library over there, the Kimmel Center uh, for Student Life, and then Tisch, uh, Stern, uh, Gallatin, all these different schools are kind of within this very close area proximity to each other. So I kind of consider Washington Square Park to be our quad and it very much to me does feel like a, a campus. Oh yeah, I mean you got students walking around, you yeah. got people studying here. Sure. So, okay, so I guess what, what are the biggest benefits of being in the city and what are kind of some of the drawbacks? You know, for me, I really don't see a lot of drawbacks other than if you kind of want that smaller kind of college experience where everything is sort of, I don't want to say isolated, but kind of... But you are not isolated here. Don't feel any sort of isolation at all. It's really the opposite. It's extremely freeing. I just love, I'm a city kid. I grew up in the city of Chicago, so I naturally love kind of living in the city amongst a lot of people and different kinds of people and there's just so much to do and I think that's the best part of NYU is you can literally never get bored. You're in Manhattan, you're in the greatest city in the world, sorry to my Chicago friends. Uh, but yeah, it's just an incredible place and there's definitely parties on campus that you can go to, uh, bars if you're of age. Uh, and yeah, there's just literally so much to do, plays to see, Broadway, uh, there's student shows. I was in a play last semester which we can talk about. Uh, so yeah, there's no shortage of things to do here. We're here at the Kimmel Center for Student Life. It's a great place to hang out, catch an incredible view of Washington Square Park. There's also a lot of auditions that take place for various comedy and performance groups. Rehearsals can take place here. You can eat here, get coffee, whatever. Just a really great place to hang out and catch a good view. So this is my room, I uh, love having a single. It's about a five, six minute walk to class, really close to Washington Square Park too. So just pretty centrally located along the campus and very convenient for me. I have a kitchen as well, uh, so I can make omelets in the morning or whatever, smoothies. Uh, so yeah, everything's really kind of great, great accommodations here. Like I mentioned, I do a lot of comedy and stand-up comedy throughout the city and here on campus at NYU, but one other thing that I do is I make a lot of YouTube videos uh, from my channel, Matterday Night Live. Very creative, I know. And I do that here, kind of in my dorm room setup. My microphone, computer, headphones, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is Barack Obama, and I'm here uh, making a YouTube video for The Crimson. It's a great company, you should check it out. And here we are. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, what's up? We're right outside of the Gallatin School of Individualized Study. Uh, it's a school where students who have kind of two or three interests can combine them and develop their own concentration as opposed to one singular major. So it's really great if you have kind of inter interests on varying ends of the spectrum and you want to just kind of merge them together. It's a really great place to learn. The Gallatin School. Mm -hmm. What is it? I don't know. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, so basically uh, it's called the Gallatin School of Individualized Study. So really for students who have two or three interests, they can kind of merge them and create their own unique concentration as opposed to a traditional college major. And this is unique to NYU? Unique to NYU, yeah. There's really 
nothing like it. Um, and there's a lot of kind of lingo and terminology that's used that I can kind of explain as we go on, uh, but it's very unique. So what is your program in the Gallatin School? So with the help of my academic advisor, I'm creating a concentration along the lines of political satire, comedy, acting, and the entertainment business. So basically the way it works is you can cr uh, choose from any number of courses within the entire NYU universe, within the entire school. So if you want to take a Stern business class or uh, a music class or an art class, and, whatever you want. And you just have to justify how it fits into Right, so basically at the beginning of each semester, students have to create a plan of study uh, and they basically have to justify what they want to enroll in, which class they want to take and kind of write out what they're thinking. And by the end of sophomore year, students are required to write what's known as the IAPC, the Intellectual Autobiography and Plan for Concentration, which is an essay that you work with, um, kind of with your advisor, on uh, defining who are you, how you learn, why you learn, what you're interested in, in learning about, how are you going to historicize your concentration um, related to the different kind of requirements that Gallatin has. Gotcha. So when you graduate, what is your degree going to say? Well, what Gallatin, it culminates in, um, you ultimately have a book list, like about 20 to 25 books of your readings and texts that you've kind of acquired throughout your, your time here, and then you have to um, write a colloquium, or you, you have your senior uh, colloquium where you basically have a conversation with uh, faculty advisors and professors on what you studied um, for the past four years. And it's sort of like defending your thesis because you have well, to write a paper uh, and really get into, really just kind of know what you have been studying. Is Gallatin why you chose NYU? Yeah, very much so. Um, it's just kind of the perfect place for me because I'm someone who has their interest in kind of a similar area, political sat or political science, comedy, performance, but there's really nothing like this place to be able to not only combine my interest in an academic setting, but then also put make use of that and go into the real world, which is New York City, um, and kind of implement what I'm studying. So you transferred from yeah. Tufts to NYU. Right. What was that transition like? You know, it was a really easy transition for me. I found that coming to New York was just, there's so much to do and so much to immerse yourself in. I think that with NYU particularly, you have to really be willing to put yourself out there, uh, not stay in your dorm room. You have to really meet people, be willing to kind of go outside your comfort zone a little bit and do things maybe that you're not necessarily used to. And I think that for me, the transition was pretty easy because I was willing to meet people, uh, kind of try different things at NYU and put myself out there. Was NYU what you expected or, or have there been things that have sort of been unexpected that have kind of surprised you? Yeah, I, you know, I sort of expected the very adult-like experience that was going to happen when I came to NYU because I knew I was going to be living in a city now and it's not gonna, no longer on a college campus where everything is kind of isolated and you kind of see the same faces every day, even though I still do have that experience, but it's pretty much what I expected and even better than I expected. I mean, I didn't really realize how fun of a place this would be. There's just so much to immerse myself in. I mean, the best part about NYU for me is that you can't get bored. So you're in sort of an unusual program at NYU right. and more broadly. Do you have any advice for students who are thinking about applying to the Gallatin School or, or another program like it somewhere? Yeah, I think if you're interested in Gallatin, it's really great for a specific kind of person who has really two or three kind of clear interests and they want to not necessarily give up one of those interests, they want to pursue them both and kind of mesh them together. And it's really great for a person who has a clear view of what they want to do kind of professionally and out into the world. And I think that what's so great about Gallatin and NYU, but Gallatin specifically, is that someone mentioned, one, one person that I know, you really have a foot kind of in the college experience, but you also have another foot into the real world. Okay, uh, that so makes a lot of sense. That, yeah. It's very like kind of career oriented almost. Career oriented, but I mean, there's incredible internship opportunities, incredible connections that NYU has to offer. But it just, what I love about this experience is that like I said, one foot in the real world, one foot kind of in the traditional college experience. I think it's a great kind of balance to have at this kind of young age. If you could go back and give one piece of advice to your high school self, what would it be? I would say, for me, it would be kind of just start to pursue the things that I really love to do and not that I feel like I have to do. I think I found that kind of in my high school experience, I was doing some extracurricular things that 
might look good for college application or I was just kind of thinking, focus on resume building. And in hindsight, I think that it's, you should kind of just always live your life based on this is what I really want to do. This is why I'm doing this for a reason. And I think that will ultimately reflect really well on when you are applying to college. And also just kind of to step back during the process and be like, okay, well, what is it that I want? What location do I want? Don't, not where I feel like I'm supposed to be, just kind of reflect on what is it that I want and where should I be. Like I said, there's no shortage of things to do here at NYU and in New York City. You just kind of keep moving forward, like I'm going to do to this cube. Okay, a little hard to move, but if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Matthew Friend with The Crimson, signing off. Oh, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. We going? Uh, 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 <laughs> go cube! Keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. Uh, keep going, keep going. Oh my god, dude, this is absurd. Oh, he's doing great, he's doing great. <laughs>